A narcissist is usually created by a parent oh, overcompensating for a missing or uninvolved parent. This is how you make a narcissistic kid. You overcompensate for the missing parent. This imbalance creates an imbalanced person. They want the world to overcompensate. And the world doesn't. This opens up a person for the welcoming of a demonic entity to fill the void in their lives. A narcissistic person is demon possessed. There's no such thing as a narcissist without a demon. This is the embodiment of Satan himself, his full spirit, the opposite of the Holy Spirit. When a mother dogs out a child's father, the child will grow up using pride and lies to look better in the eyes of others. He's ashamed of how his father is so whack, so he'll use pride and lies to look better. Open himself up, demon comes in. Pride makes the person almost unreachable by the word of truth because they're living a lie. You can't get saved like that because that's not you. The infighting of a couple for a child, fighting, infighting in front of the child creates the same issues as well. The devil embodies the person and the person adopts the demon's character to seek attention, fame, money, and recognition at what? Any cost. Everyone becomes a stepping stone. You can't have real relationships. Everyone just becomes a stepping stone to get you where you trying to go. Narcissistic personality disorder, or NPD, is a form of mental illness. Most demon-possessed people is diagnosed with mental illness. Person with NPD cannot count the cost of their actions and behaviors. They don't care about consequence, cause and effect, or how their actions affect others. They do not consider their own end game or how things will be resolved once they calm down. They don't care. You try to tell them, bro, if you do this, this is going to happen. They don't care. I just have to do this. That's the devil. Devil, if you go against the God that created you, you're going to get kicked out. I don't care. I have to do this. Can I keep preaching? <laughs> it's mental illness to desire to be lifted up in spite of others or the danger you cause for others. Failing to consider how you affect others is what? That's mental illness. <laughs> Man, I'm preaching in this place. Narcissism is from the devil. It's a selfish mindset that was created to mask severe personality issues and destructive behaviors. So you created a mindset to mask your issues and you, you got tired of feeling bad by the way you're acting and treating people. So you created a whole persona to hide that from yourself. See, they understand what y'all understand what I'm saying, right? Yeah, you, you created a whole uh, persona just to hide how you feel about yourself, even though how you feel about yourself is exposed to everyone else. It's used to cover up who a person really is, even though everyone still sees who the person is because of their lack of empathy. James 3 and 15, this wisdom descendeth not from above, but it is what? Earthly, sensual, and what? <laughs> Devilish. Their decisions are still going to expose and haunt them because in the narcissist's mind, they look and feel different. This is a form of insanity and a Luciferian mindset. Amen. Six things. Seven things. These are the things. You do these things. See, this, this is what I understand. This is what the internet promotes, all of these things. The six things or... Uh, the seven things that God calls an abomination unto him. A proud look, looking better than everyone. That's a narcissist. A lying tongue, all narcissists lie. Hands that shed innocent blood, narcissism. You think you have that kind of control? A heart that devises wicked imaginations, sitting back thinking how you can get back at people. Feet that 
run swift to mischief. Run into the mess. Where is the mess? You know, the mess only get messy people. It attracts them like boo-boo and flies. Mess. Amen. That's rated G, boo-boo. Okay. So they run into the mess. If there's mess, ooh, who said what? What did he say? Ooh, did you hear? What? Feet running swift to it. God said he hates that. A false witness speaking lies. Were you there? Then shut up. If you weren't there, you a false witness. The court will throw you out. Well, he said, see, I got proof. He's what? Get out of my courtroom. You're a false witness. 